Okay, so let's say that we wanted to get a text message every time a lead came in, or we wanted to send a text message to our clients every time we uh, a lead came into the chatbot. Let's show you how to do that. So we're actually going to do that through uh, chat field here, and we're going to request the user's email, and then what we're going to do is we're going to send that off to Zapier via a JSON API. Now, uh, let's go through and we'll quickly just test this because you'll want to make sure that you test it so that you can send the information out. And so it'll say, give me your email, and then it'll say, okay, great, we are done. Now, we can go back here and we've actually done this. And here in chat field, you'll want to make sure that you use a JSON API, and you'll also want to make sure that you send all the appropriate attributes that you need to use in Zapier. So if you need the customer's uh, phone number, obviously ask for the customer's or the uh, subscriber's phone number if you want to send them a message after they come in to the chatbot. Now, here in Zapier, we're going to use a tool called Webhooks, and you're going to see that we're going to use this tool called Catchhook. Now, we're going to click Save and Continue. We're going to skip or we're just going to continue past this step. We're not going to do anything. You'll notice it says we've generated a custom webhook URL for you to send requests to. So we're going to copy that URL and we're going to throw that right into our chat fuel JSON API. So notice that that should link up right directly to our Zapier. Now, once we do that, we pretty much can take all of the information from Zapier uh, or from chat fuel and we can actually do anything we want with that information as well so right now it's going through and it's actually looking for the uh, for the information <clears throat> so that's why you want to make sure that you oh so we need to test it with this new uh, with this new URL so let's go through and let's test that again and you want to make sure that the webhook has all the information so it says give me your email and we're gonna go through it again okay we're done and you'll notice now we're going to hop back and there it is. So there's our webhook, there's my name, there's my user ID, and there's my email. And those are all the things that I actually asked for down there. First name, last name, email, and user ID. So now from here we can do anything. And what we like to use is we do go in here and we use text in bulk. And text in bulk is actually a service where what we can do is once they're in here, we can sync them in and they can now go into a full automation system in there. Or we can send a SMS to someone and notify that someone actually came in. And so what I can do here is I can actually just go through and we have our own numbers on text in bulk and you can actually send it right to your client right so if they have uh you can just send it like that and you can say hey uh whoops hey you know client here's another uh a new lead came in right and you can just tell them and then you can pull over here the information and you can put their first name and then their last name and then you can say their email address underneath it and now every time someone goes through this uh, through this process right every time someone goes through this process every time someone comes through here and actually submits all their information well then they're actually going to send an email with the name of that person and their email address as well. So we can skip that test, we'll hit finish, and then now we can actually send a text message to anybody that we want. And the great thing is that we use, I guess the people are naturally asking, why do we use text in bulk? Is because we can actually have people, when they respond, we can have uh, the autoresponders already take, you know, take over um, as opposed to Zapier's normal functions and features. So hopefully this was helpful for you. If you guys want a more thorough training, just comment helpful uh, and uh, and you want more and, and just comment or comment more. Um, let me know which one it was and um, we will continue to bring you more helpful videos. All right, hope you're having an amazing day and uh, keep building, keep botting.